On today's episode of Culture Rewind, we are visiting eight filming locations from the 1993 movie Sleepless in Seattle. We're currently on our way to our first location, which is the floating house that Sam, who's played by Tom Hanks, lives in with his son Jonah. Now this movie hasn't held up that well over time in my opinion, but it still has some locations that look just like they did back when it was filmed. For Sam's floating house, the walkway that leads down there is locked, and I waited around to see if somebody would come by, enter the code to walk down there, and just kind of walk in after them like I belong there, but no one came and I waited a very long time. We can see it a little bit here on the right, and there's a yacht dealer that's right next to it, so we can walk down there and see if we can get a closer look at the other side of the house. You can also see this house from Gasworks Park with a longer lens. I'll show you guys the vicinity of it. It's right over here. Now, when I was here, I was filming a location for 10 Things I Hate About You, and I did not have a better lens, but it is in this general area. Here we see the Inn at the Market that Tom Hanks and Rob Reiner walk by while on their way to the Athenian. Now we tried coming here multiple times and it was even more crowded than this. So I think this is as good as it's gonna get. There will be people all over the place in these shots. Sorry about that. But the Athenian is here inside Pike Place. It's right next to Pure Food Fish Market, which is also featured in the movie. It will get to that next. But inside, there are markers where Tom Hanks and Rob Reiner sat at the counter for the movie. So if you want to come and sit here and get something to eat where they did, you can. And the people working here were really nice about filming inside too. If we step outside the Athenian, Pure Food Fish Market is right here. And this is where Sam and his son Jonah are standing. Victoria, a woman who Sam has started dating and Jonah hates, shows up with groceries to make them dinner. And you can see the crabs and the same sign in the movie here. And in the movie, that wall to the far right was a bunch of produce. We are here at Urban Yoga Spa. In Sleepless, this was Dahlia Lounge, the restaurant where Sam goes on a date with Victoria and where the private investigator hired by Annie, who's Meg Ryan's character, takes pictures of them. The guy inside was super sweet and let me come inside and match up this window here. This is where Sam takes the call from Jonah about a letter from Annie.
When Annie flies to Seattle to try to meet Sam, she first goes to his house and she sees him leaving with Jonah in a boat, so she follows their boat to Alki Beach. We see her cross a blue bridge. That bridge is the Fremont Bridge that we're crossing right now. We see Sam and Jonah play on the beach and we can see the same mountains across the water right here. Once Annie gets to Alki, Sam and Jonah are coming up onto the beach and Annie is in her car here. Annie then turns around and parks right here in front of Dukes on Alki and 58th. Dukes has obviously been remodeled, but you can see where she hides on the side of the building right here near the entrance. The Alki Beach area is actually really nice. I've been to Seattle a few times, but never came out here, so I'm glad we had to come out here for a location. It's really pretty, but we're going to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm curious to know if you guys feel like this movie aged well. I don't know for me, and I know it's supposed to be funny, but if the roles were reversed and Tom Hanks was lurking around Dukes watching Meg Ryan and her kid, it would be kind of creepy, right? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will say this though, it's pretty cool that after over 30 years of this movie being released, we can still match up many of the locations. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.